dear student welcome to the online learning today we will learn about chapter number 6 that is integers today's topic will be introduction so let's begin with our today's learning so here comes the natural numbers children we know what are natural numbers natural numbers are the set of counting numbers and they starts from the number like 1 2 3 4 5 and goes so on so here you can see all the counting numbers are termed as natural number in the same way we know what are whole numbers so all natural numbers including zero in it they forms the whole number so as you can see the numbers present on the screen when you have included zero with this all counting numbers means zero with this all natural numbers we obtain whole numbers okay now let us learn what are integers so children integers are the set of whole numbers including negative number in it so as you can see here the numbers present on the screen as you can see minus 3 minus 2 minus 1 0 1 2 3 and so on so children when we include the zero that to with the counting numbers that are 1 2 3 so they form whole numbers okay and when you move to the left direction of this zero we can see the numbers are present with the negative sign so these are negative numbers okay and whereas when you move to the right direction of zero we find all the numbers okay that are counting numbers which represents positive numbers fine so when you talk about the values of positive numbers that are present to the right direction of zero here the value of every number increases and they get increased by one another fine in the same way when you compare the value of this negative numbers which are present to the left direction of zero here the value of every negative numbers reduces okay and those negative number which are closer to zero that represents greater value as compared to the other negative number which are far from zero to the left direction fine children now let us learn about the representation of integer on number line so as you can see whenever we want to represent any number on the number line we have to first draw one horizontal straight line and we need to mark arrow on both of its end side then here you can see after drawing a horizontal straight line at the center of it we have marked zero okay and then to the right direction of zero we have marked all the positive numbers that are the counting numbers okay as well as to the left direction of zero you can see we have marked all the negative numbers that are negative integers okay and make sure that all this negative and positive numbers they are kept at an equal gap fine so let's understand about the ordering of integers so children you can see when we take here 1 and minus 1 so while comparing you can see this 1 and minus 1 on the number line so here just we have discussed this thing the numbers which are present to the right direction of zero they represents positive numbers and the values of this positive numbers are more when we keep on moving to the right direction the value of this counting numbers they keep on increasing fine whereas when we uh, move towards the left direction the value of this negative numbers they are reduced okay so here when you can see this one is a positive number and minus one is a negative number so when we compare any positive number with the negative numbers always the positive number becomes greater okay likewise you can see here zero is compared with minus 1 so you can see this zero this is here and minus 1 it is just marked towards the left direction of zero so here zero will be greater as compared to this negative 
number likewise when you compare this positive number 1 that to with 0 okay so here this counting number this will become more as compared to 0 now let's compare any two negative number so we have taken here minus 1 and minus 2 so children when we compare these two negative numbers you can see this minus 1 is closer to 0 okay on the number line as compared to this minus 2 on the number line among this minus 1 and minus 2 so here the negative number which is closer to 0 that represents higher or greater value so here minus 1 will be greater than minus 2 as such minus 2 is far from 0 as compared to minus 1 it is near to 0 now let us come to the exercise question given in textbook page number 120 so here we need to write the opposite for the following given question so first of all we have increase in weight so for this we can write its opposite by decrease in weight now here is the next question that is 30 km north so for this question we'll take help of compass here that will represent direction on it so children as you can see the opposite for north will be given by south as well as if we have east direction so that's opposite will be represented by west okay so as per the question 30 km north its opposite will be given by 30 km south in the same way for 326 bc we can write its opposite like 326 ad and for the loss of rupees 700 it will be given by profit of rupees 700 then if you talk about 100 meter above sea level so for this also we can give the opposite like 100 meter below sea level so children as you can see i have drawn one figure on the screen and here we have taken help of arrow so the arrow facing upward represents the above direction of sea level whereas the arrow facing down side represents the below region of the sea level okay now come to the next question that is question number 3 we have to represent the following numbers on the number line okay here so first number is plus 5 plus 8 then minus 1 minus 6 okay children so you can see here first we have drawn one straight horizontal line and we have marked arrow on both of its end side then we have marked negative numbers on it to the left side of 0 and all positive number to the right side of 0 okay and we want to represent here plus 5 so you can see here the plus 5 we are representing through a letter r okay marked above plus 5 uh, in the same way we can represent plus 8 that is present to the right direction of zero so this plus it we have represented through a letter s marked above plus it fine in the same way we can represent this minus 1 and minus 6 also so minus 1 it is represented towards the left side of zero so this minus 1 we are representing through the letter q and this minus 6 that we are representing through the help of letter p so below also we need to mention this thing as you can see point p here it represents minus 6 on number line likewise q here this point q marked above minus 1 it represents what value it represents point q represents minus 1 on number line in the same way point r represents plus 5 on number line and point s represents plus 8 on number line so children when we have a positive number no need of writing plus sign in front of it it is already understood that they are the positive numbers but for the negative numbers we need to mark the negative sign in front of them now come to the next question and which of the following pairs which number is to the right of the other on number line so as you can see when we have any two positive numbers and that we want to compare okay so you can see 9 is greater than 2 so it will be to the right of 2 means those numbers 
which will be greater that will be to the right of the smaller number so 9 is greater so 9 is to the right of 2 now let's see here the next question it is minus 3 and minus 8 so both are the negative numbers so you can see here as we have just now discussed the number line so minus 8 it will be marked towards the left side of 0 whereas minus 3 it will be also marked towards the left side of 0 but as compared to this minus 8 and minus 3 minus 3 is to the right of minus 8 so here minus 3 is greater than minus 8 why so because minus 3 is closer to 0 as compared to minus 8 okay on the number line in the same way we can compare the numbers and we can tell which one will be the number which is present to the right of the another given number so here when you compare 0 and minus 1 0 is to the right of minus 1 as minus 1 is a negative number so it will be less than 0 okay so 0 is greater here now see here minus 11 and 10 so among this negative and positive number this positive number that is 10 it is to the right of minus 1 and this positive number 10 is greater than minus 11 now come to the next question that is question number 7 we have to tell here the integers that are present between the given pairs in ascending order okay so the pair is 0 and minus 7 so we have to include the numbers between this given pair and that too in increasing order we need to represent okay so between numbers we want so we will not include 0 and minus 7 in that list okay children so here in increasing order it will be given like minus 6 minus 5 minus 4 minus 3 minus 2 and minus 1 so increasing order means what from smaller to bigger okay now see here the next question that is minus 4 and 4 so between these two pair also we have to tell all the integers that are present and in increasing order we have to represent them so again let's arrange them from smaller to bigger so minus 3 minus 2 minus 1 0 1 2 and 3 they are the integers present between minus 4 and 4 and they are arranged in increasing order in the same way for this minus 8 and minus 15 we can write like minus 14 minus 13 minus 12 minus 11 minus 10 and minus 9 okay so here we come to the question number 8 that we have to write here four negative integers greater than minus 20 so children four negative integers greater than minus 20 it will be given by minus 19 minus 18 minus 17 and minus 16 as i told you the numbers which numbers the negative numbers which are closer to zero okay that represents the greater value as compared to those negative numbers which are far from zero so here you can see okay we want the four negative integers greater than minus 20 so minus 16 minus 17 minus 18 and minus 19 are greater than as compared to minus 20 now come to the next question of question number eight only here we need to represent the four negative integers and that we need to write which are less than minus 10 so here less than minus 10 we want so smaller numbers we want to write here the four negative integers which are smaller than minus 10 that we have to write so children smaller means when we talk about the negative integers those negative numbers which will be far from zero that represents smaller numbers okay so you can see as compared to minus 10 minus 11 is more far from zero as well as minus 12 also minus 13 also and minus 14 also so they are the four negative integers less than minus 10 
clear now see here the next question that is question number 10 draw a number line and answer the following so here we will have to tell that which number we will reach if we move 4 number to the right of minus 2 so first of all let's draw one number line and represent arrow on both of its end side then as we have marked all the positive as well as the negative numbers to the right side of 0 we marked positive numbers and the left side of it we have marked the negative numbers okay so here as per the question we have to move 4 number to the right of minus 2 so here is the minus 2 on the number line and we are moving to the right of it how many numbers four numbers so the first number when we first time when we move will reach to minus 1 next time when we move will reach to 0 third time when we move will reach to 1 and fourth time when we move we reach to plus 2 okay so from minus 2 when we move four numbers to the right okay so we reach to plus 2 okay children so which number we will reach we will reach to plus 2 when we move four numbers to the right of minus 2 now come to the next question if we are at minus 8 on the number line in which direction we should move to reach minus 13 so as like the previous question we have drawn a straight horizontal line over here and you can see we have marked all the required number on this number line fine then as per the question from minus 8 when we started moving to reach here on minus 13 on the number line you can see we are moving to the left direction from minus 8 to reach minus 13 so we'll write here that we should move to left direction from minus 8 to reach minus 13 clear children now here comes your home assignment that you need to solve question number 2 question number 3b question number 4 question number 5 question number 6 ef question number 7d question number 9 and question number 10 bd of exercise 6.1 given in the textbook page number 120 so children i hope whatever we learned today you have understood properly complete your notebook thank you